buried more than 1,000 years ago. The jelly-starred Viking ship was found near Holden in southern Norway in 2018. During a geo-radar survey, an archaeologist funded by the Norwegian government are determined to raise the ship in the coming months. Hello everyone, Gabriel here. Welcome to Ancient Insights. If you are new here or have not subscribed yet, kindly subscribe now and enable notification to continue to receive the latest archaeology and ancient history stories. Thank you. Let's get started. Norwegian archaeologists announce a plan to raise a buried Viking ship from the earth. The vessel is from a ship burial that is over 1000 years old. It is the first time in over a hundred years that the buried Viking ship has been excavated. But the experts have declared excavation necessary and are in a race against time to salvage and preserve the very rare and important vessel. The Jellystad Viking ship was found near Holden in southern Norway in 2018. It was discovered during a georadar survey conducted by Nico, overseen by North Pasquet. Georadar technology allowed researchers to scan the vessel that had been buried here sometime between the 8th and the 10th century AD. The researchers have determined that it measures 65 feet or 19.8 meters and is made of oak. According to life science, Sigrid Manasaka Gunderson, an archaeologist with the local county, was quoted as saying that the vessel was likely made for traveling long distances at sea. It is possible that it once had a mast and oars. New images shows that there may be some grave goods in one section of the buried ship. Ship burials were an important funerary custom in the Viking era, but they were typically reserved for the elite. Most likely, the vessel was the final resting place for a king or queen who was laid in the long boot which was then covered by a large earthen mound. The burial was once part of a larger burial complex and several other structures such as lighthouses were identified nearby. According to Niku archaeologist Lars Gustafsson, the ship burial does not exist in isolation but forms part of a cemetery which is designed to display power and influence. Archaeologists were however reluctant to excavate the ship initially because buried wood can be damaged or even disintegrate upon exposure to the air. However, in 2019, during a test dig, archaeologists made a worrying discovery. A drainage ditch near the grave was contributing to the rapid decay of the wooden vessel. They would have to excavate the buried Viking ship or allow it to decay. Only the imprint of the plank all the stakes were left together with the iron nails, Gunderson told Life Science. Some of the organic materials that lies at a distance from the drainage ditch seems to be in good condition. The keel of the buried Viking ship appeared to be intact. However, it was also found that the craft is also under attack from a fungus. The combination of the moisture, growing exposure to air after the trial dig, and the fungus means the ship need to be taken from the ground as quickly as possible. According to the Smithsonian Magazine, a Norwegian minister, Svinon Restevan, is quoted as saying, it is urgent that we get this ship out of the ground. In the light of this, the Norwegian government has agreed to fund a project to excavate the ship and once the parliament votes on it, the project can begin. They are providing 15.6 million kroner or 1.6 million US dollars to fund the projects. This is only the fourth ever ship burial that has been found in the Scandinavian kingdom. The other examples of ship burials are the Thun, Gokstad and Osebeck longboats. Insight into the ship design Unlike the previous burials, this discovery can be investigated using modern techniques. John Beer, an expert on Viking ships, told the local.ie that with the technology that we have now, 
and the equipment that we have today. This gives us a tremendous opportunity to understand why the ship burials took place. This internment are believed to have taken place for complex social, religious and political reasons. And if we understand them better, we can obtain more insight into Viking life and death. Moreover, it can help us understand the evolution of Norse ship design by comparing this buried Viking ship to other examples. Bill told local.ie that the keel appeared to be much less massive than the Oseberg ships, which comes from the 9th and the early 10th century. The Jellestad Viking craft most likely comes from an era when researchers have little information regarding ship building. Once parliamentary approval has been made, excavation will begin immediately to excavate the ship and retrieve as much of it as possible. The earth above the varied Viking ship will be sieved to discover any artifacts. After removing the earth, 3D images of all the wood will be taken. Scans will also be taken of the remaining imprints of the wood to ensure that researchers can recreate the Viking ship burial digitally at later dates. Archaeologist Rodson Rodrood told LifeSense that the tents will be erected to shelter the site. The wooden remains of the ship would have to be kept wet during excavation. This will help to preserve the wooden remains. Anything organic will be treated with chemicals to give it solidity and strength. If enough of the Viking ship is found, it can be put on display. The Oseberg ship, taken from a similar ship burial, is currently housed in a museum in Norway and can be visited by members of the public. Please engage with us in comments. Check this video here for more on Viking activities and history. Remember to subscribe and enable notification for more interesting history and archaeology stories. Like and share this video with friends on social media. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the other video. Peace.